Hello there, Internet Land. Welcome to the first in a long time, but the first episode of a new series. This is Shadow One Run Returns, if I can speak English, which apparently I can't most of the time. But this is Shadow Run Returns. This is a game I really enjoy. I've been a fan of Shadow Run for years and years and years. Um, just got a new well laptop but it's a VR ready laptop which is saying a lot so I decided to pick up some games this obviously isn't VR or anything nah. but it's a turn based tactics RPG of sorts and we're just gonna hop right in um, you know I'm gonna try and keep episodes to about 30 minutes or so it's been a long time since I've done this in fact even just getting up to do this has taken a lot, but there are three games in this series, and I'd like to do them all. So, without any further ado, let's begin. Dead Man Switch, which is the main campaign. I can actually find more stories, blah, blah, blah. We're not going to do that, though. We're actually just going to follow the main series at first, and then if it's still popular and if you want to see more, we can always do more. Uh, normal's fine. There's no reason to do anything extra. It's not PlayStation, so I don't care about trophies. <laughs> Even if there are Steam achievements, it doesn't really matter to me because they are not Sony. How sad is that? Alright, I'm gonna go male. I don't know what race. I typically choose human just for the fact that they get three extra karma. Karma is sort of like experience in this game, but it doesn't work that way exactly. Um, each karma point can buy one point but say if something is nine like it shows nine body nine quickness these are our maximum stats we can have if something is nine then it takes ten to get to the tenth spot and so on so you exponentially need more and more um, I typically go with human elves are okay as well but human, the plus three karma at the start's really nice. Now, granted, they can have 11 quickness. Eh. And then you got dwarves. I would never choose a dwarf just out of personal reasons. It's not something I want to do. I don't like that class or as a something I would want to be. Um, I already have enough of a Napoleon complex. I don't need my games to help me out anymore. <laughs> I'm the shortest male in my family, which is a lot of fun. Uh, we have orcs. I just don't like orcs as orcs. Same thing. I mean, now the half orcs and everything aren't so bad as if you watch Lost Initiative with Mathis, you would know. Thonk and Grommin. Reference right there. And trolls, of course. Trolls aren't so bad either. Again, just not really my style. It usually delves down to how I play is usually elf or human. I'm going to go with human this time. It's going to be fairly simple. We're going to go with none because I kind of know what sort of class I want to do. I'm going to do an adept, but I don't want to use what they have. So we're going to make our own. Let's hop right in here. Uh, yeah, there's an actual character creator. Look at the amazingly mundane graphics of this game. That's the hair color. I don't care about that. That's, um, excuse me? Oh, it's on auto. Uh, let's see. There is a particular hairstyle that is closest to mine that I like to use because I have played this game again. I haven't beaten this game. I actually played it through for probably about five hours and decided, you know what? Let's do a series on this. I think that's good. Uh, that's almost there, but that's not quite right. Where is it? Isn't it? I can I think that might be the one I use. I can't tell. Nope, that's the one we use. Yep, that's definitely it. Okay, and we need some color here. Oh, that's skin color. As pale as it gets. That is the wrong direction for as pale as it gets. There we go, because I am pale. Let's see. Let's see, what kind of hair do we have right now? So 
surprisingly not too far from that. It's dark with a blonde shine is what I have, but I like white. It's like an actual blonde habit of white. There we go. Beard. Um, no, I don't have a giant full beard like that, but I do have something. So let's find what closest represents what I have. I might actually have to stand up to see this better. Uh, that might not be that far off from what I got, but we're gonna flip through. Oh, firstly. Come on, where is it? It's not that one. Definitely not. Yeah, I think it was the one I was looking at a minute ago. I'm actually playing this in kind of a different way. I have it on my TV. That way I can play it on my TV because why wouldn't I want to play it on my TV? Seriously. Uh, that's not what we want. I think this is what we want. That's kind of close to how my beard is. And I do like to have white hair sometimes. So let's continue on to stats. And once we get to stats, it's going to say karma is the experience, blah, blah, blah. Not quite how it works. But we're going to go straight to right there. Quickness, we want at at least a three. Uh, ranged combat we want at a 1. Uh, dodge is what we really want to pop up right here. Strength. At a 3. Close combat we also want to boost. We want to boost our melee. Intelligence doesn't really matter in this game. It's not like D&D &D or the other ones where if your character doesn't have a certain level of intelligence that they're just stupid. Luckily, at least in this version of the game, it's not that way. Let me say that. I do need willpower. And this is where we start to get close. I like to use charisma provides here. Let's get out of this. No, not confirm. Cancel. Charisma is also your etiquette so like the more charisma you have the more different ways you can talk to people and different ways you can get people to react to you and do things accordingly so we're going to add to this we're going to go with shadow runner just because i enjoy having that one at least uh having one is really nice always i do need to do something because i did something wrong i realize now I need to get rid of this. Where is it? Up here. I need to get rid of that. That'll give us a little bit of karma so we can put into what we really want. And what we really want is... That's intelligence. I don't care about that. We want... We want to increase our... Let's see. Where are we? Chi casting, that's what it is. Killing hands is okay. It's a good starter, but it's really not that great. So what you want is... You want that one. And we have enough to do it, so let's just boost right there. That way we can do a chi focus, which is two attacks on a single target for the same price as... Well, typically two attacks, but it also includes the movement and everything else. So you can still move really far and get that hit in. Now what I'm going to do after this is increase my close combat. And so I have one more. We're going to add that on there. That way we have just kind of an overall better situation. A good way to start out, we are going to be a melee focused adept. Um, I really like Adepts in this game. I think it's a unique class. It uses um, 
they use magic, but not in the sense of a normal magic user. They use magic and focus it into their bodies to become, essentially, a freaking ninja. That's at least my goal when I make an adept. That's how I always envision them, is making them a shadow ninja. So, I think this. We have three to body, three to quickness, one to range. That way he can use pistols. That's going to be very valuable. Three to dodge. Maximum. And if you notice on these, we have to increase the main stat in order to increase the lowers past that point. So it can be a grind to level up after that point. But this is a good starting point, and this is kind of where I want to start it off. Uh, Let's go with the classic. Mave the cat. That looks good to me. Down and out. Your apartment, three o'clock in the morning. It's got four walls, a roof. It isn't on fire. Even the cockroaches have fled in search of a better accommodations. Not exactly a runner's dream pad, but right now, it's about all you have left. Running the shadows is all about feast or famine. One day you're Nava Hut, working jobs that allow you to eat five-star restaurants. The next, well, you're here. This one's a famine for the ages. Slagging fixer hasn't called, the money's run out, and then some sinless and free. Oh, and then some. The money's run out and then some. Gotcha. Sinless and free. Free to starve in the cracks of a society run by megacorps who just want your Nuyen. Something needs to change, and soon. Now, I'm going to explain a few things right here. Sinless? Sinless are people who don't have their chips. They don't have a sin. They don't have a... Um, I can't remember what sin actually stands for, but it, it basically means they don't have an ID. They don't exist. Um, Nuyen, obviously, that's your currency. Now, these are just kind of... Runners are mercenaries, essentially. That's what you are. Shadow runner, you run in the shadows. Um... Haley's comment went by and reemerged all the old I say old all the it's a good word for it, mythical races including dragons but uh, anyway this is kind of an introductory to us um, okay your apartment 2054 it's 3 a.m. you've got nowhere to go but down so let's take a look a slip of paper with your bank balance I cannot read that because it's tiny a slip of paper with your bank balance enough to cover you through the end of the week Your notebook calendar, contacts, that kind of thing. Let's look at the contacts. Carter, Detroit. No response to messages. Dowd, runner, dead. Felton Nash, fixer, missing since February. New Larry, runner, dead. Sam Watts, runner, probably in a gutter somewhere. Sangoma, runner, dead. Halfjack, dealer, retired or dead. This goes on, all either dead or just plain dead. Dead ends or just plain dead, I should say. Uh, personal calendar. Empty. Nothing to do. Okay, that's a little depressing. Is there anything in here? Vid phone rings, jarring you. Who's calling at 3 a.m.? Let's take a look. Your computer starts in at 2050. What? Broken since 2051. That doesn't make any sense. Where's the phone? Oh, it's right there. Screen leaps to life, making you squint against its brightness. The face on the screen is laughing. It's Sam Watts. Hey, buddy. Hope I didn't catch you at a bad time. <laughs> he giggles. Drunk again or worse. 
Where have you been, Sam? I haven't heard from you in months. <laughs> oh, don't bother with your side of the conversation. I'm not really here. Just one reason for this vid. Somebody finally geeked me. I'm dead. Probably had it coming. When you're an unsavory character like myself, you tend to associate with other unsavory characters who often partake in unsavory business. Like you, for example. So why am I dead? Who knows? Probably my fault. Wonder where you are right now. I bet you hit a big payday living high on the hog somewhere. Some of us are born winners and some of us are... me. Hey, you remember that Rinraku run when things went to hell and we lost Dowd? Well, that makeshift saloon on the docks afterwards? Really had your back that night, didn't I? Dowd. It's a name you haven't heard in a long time. And now we get the tutorial. Pretty much. Three years ago, a makeshift bar in the Seattle docks, the night Dowd went down. Let's talk, shall we? Sengoma. Sengoma is an urban shaman who proved her worth during a run against Fuchi last fall. She's quiet type, an experienced runner. We're out in the open here, Move. We're out in the open here. <laughs> That's a really bad voice for a girl, but she seems gruff. Our fixer roses for the run, and Dowd, we wait. Your call. New Larry. You've been running with New Larry for about six months now. He's a combat mage with a bad tattoo and a bad attitude. He knew about Dowd. He knew Dowd as well as you did. Dowd. Never saw anybody die like that before, idiot. I don't know how good my voices are. It's been a long time since I've tried to do this. He shakes his head. I hate this fragging city, Mave. It's wet, and the rain feels like acid, and I want out of here. We wait for the money. Yeah, sure, of course. I'll wait all, all night if I have to. I don't know. Why does it have to say my whole name? Damn it. I should have changed that. I don't know, cat. Sam is a good guy and holds his own in a fight, but he's been hitting the bottle pretty good lately. Never on a run so far, but he needs watching. He shakes his head. That run went sideways nine ways to Sunday. Now the fixer's late. Smell funny to you? Hell yeah, it smells funny. Look at where he set the meeting. This was supposed to be a public place. Cut the dreck, Sam. We both know why Dowd went down, and it wasn't the fixer or some paranoid chip dream of yours. Sam smiles a toothly smile. I've been waiting for this all night. New Larry has something he wants to say. Don't you, Larry? Go ahead. Spill it. This is a better voice for him. You were sloppy. <laughs> sloppy? You think I was sloppy? You've been twitchy all day, son. Look at your hands. They're shaking. You've been drinking, Sam. On a run, not a drop. Not today, not ever. Something dawns on him. He leans a new Larry amused and dangerous. We were set up. And he knows it. Don't you, Larry? What was that call you made before we hit Rinraku? How come you couldn't geek that guy before he unloaded on Dowd? I've seen you fling a lightning bolt, son. He should have been burnt to toast before his gun cleared the holster. New Larry checks his watch, licks his lips, looks over your shoulder at the dark, looks over, you know, your shoulder at the dark. He's looking for someone, and it's not the fixer. 
Okay, I can see where this is going. You chummers are damaged. I'm out. How much do they pay you to sell us out, Larry? He stops. A smile slowly appears on his face. Honestly, didn't take much. Just enough to get me back to Portland and set up with a cash corp. A Cush Corp job. I'm out of this racket. We've got incoming. New Larry relaxes and throws you a dreckating grin. Looks like my new ring crew friends are here. They're gonna take the hard dive off your corpse, buddy. Hard drive off that uh, hard drive off your corpse. I need to read better. I need to be a better reader, man. We should choose our friends more carefully, Mave. Buy you a drink after this? You'll owe me several. Alright, this is the start of combat. The combat works in a turn-based tactical RPG. Um, and it works fairly well, honestly. Oh, you son of a bitch. Turn-based combat. Close. I know how to fight. Alright, so do I have any skills here? What do I have? Get out of here. This might actually be a pain. Uh, well, this is all we got, so... Let's get here and... Take a shot. I'm not surprised I missed that. So, let's have you... I want you... Get some cover. There we go. It's a good spot for you. There we go. Let's just take new Larry down, since he's the one who betrayed us. Let's just go straight for him. He had it coming. Where's the other one? Oh, right there. Shit. I didn't even see you. Uh, I still want to go after you. Uh, let's just take two shots. That one's down. Next up is you, which I don't know if I have a line of sight or not. Yeah, I do. There we go. Uh, where's the net? Is there... Oh, shit. Did not see you there. Let's go right there. Uh, that was probably a really bad place to... Oh, they didn't fire, though. Good. So let's move over here and... Take that one down. You... Right there. Looks good. Perfect. Oh shit, there's more. I forgot how many people actually show up in this. Oh fuck. Uh, what's this say? This is bad. I couldn't read it. I might have to change the resolution of this. 10 damage isn't bad, though. Yeah, you're... You're not... Oh, shit. I don't like that... Oh, what the fuck is that? That's not terrifying or anything. Oh. No, that is... Exactly terrifying. Alright. Uh, I need cover. Where did I see cover? That's too... There it is. That's one. That way I can start taking you down. Oh, shit. I aimed for the wrong person. That's not good. You're just going to move up. Because here's what I'm thinking. We have to take this one out. I accidentally fired at this. Should not have. Should have fired at this guy. But I need to take him down first. But since she's right here, there we go. Uh, and then let's move you. Give me a good spot of cover. That's good. Oh, shit. There's a guy right here. Did not see you. Damn, I really need to pay more attention. 
Okay, at least that was a miss. Take you down. What? Not enough. Oh, I need to reload. Yeah, reload. There we go. Two birds, one stone. That's why I was thinking of that. And with that, we're going to reload. There we go. And... Ooh, 20 damage. Hell yeah. Ooh, that hurts a little bit. But we're going to get it right here. Singoma lowers her gun. I, Sam... You okay, Sam? Sam's breathing is heavy. He looks shaken. It was a hell of a thing. You don't look so good, Sam. You were born for this gig, Mave. Me, not so much. I think we're gonna hang it up. I think I'm gonna hang it up. Find a nice brothel somewhere. Stay drunk until I croak. What about you? Me? I do this. It's the only life I know. Well, you're a dumbass, and I'll drink to you when you're dead. Uh, who am I kidding? I'm not gonna outlast you. Guess you can drink to me. You stare at Sam's face on your calm link. Shake off the memory and focus. I had your back that night, didn't I? Now I'm asking myself. Who would care if I die? Who would give a rat's ass? Better or worse, your name is at the top of the list. Maybe it's the only name on the list. So I set up a dead man switch to send you this call. Got a hundred thousand New Year insurance policy payable when you find who creased me. Alive with a conviction or in a body bag with justification. Either works. Contact my law, law firm. Rogers, Mingert, and McCain. When the job is done, they'll know what to do. He turns to his left. Chet. The camera swivels to show a well-dressed man sitting next to Sam. Pursuant to Mr. Watt's wishes, Rogers, Mingert, and McCain has installed a secure dedicated phone line so you may contact us directly when the task is complete. We will then begin the verification process. Note that you must also be on a secure landline to access this number. We will not accept transmissions from a comlink or other devices. Camera swivels back to Sam. Sam straightens up, talks seriously. First time. <clears throat> Look. I've led a direct life, and I probably left a direct corpse. I've hurt people. Hurt myself. I don't know, maybe I just want the last word. Maybe I want someone to give a crap that I sucked air for a while. What do you say? I'll get to the bottom of this. Someone will pay. Hope you just said yes. Got a locator chip slotted in my head these days. If, when, my heart stops, it'll activate. That's how you'll find me. See you on the slab. Rest in peace, Sam. See you in Se Seattle. Uh, I cannot talk or read today. It's just impossible for me. But, with that... I think we're going to hang up this episode. So for now, if you want to see more, if you want to see the next episode, or you want to see a continuation of the series, all you got to do is subscribe. If, and if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. It's going to help out a lot, especially since I've been on a fucking year-long hiatus. Um, I was working 80 hours a week. I had no life. I'm going to school now. <laughs> Cause fuck that. Let me tell you. I'm almost 30 years old, man. 
I'm going to college so I don't have to work my life away to make good money. Because I was making good money, but you know what? Fuck that. Anyway, I'll see you on the next episode. Hope you enjoyed.